But another question did come in via email, not vile email, but via email from Shashir. He says, I want to set up a search on power options for in the money covered calls, which have an upcoming dividend and the time value is 1% on a monthly basis. Uh, time value can be proportional lower if expiration is less than a month. Okay, well, no problem. All right, on to Shashir. And his question, now that we've seen how the search tool works, Shashir's question comes more into focus, pretty simple. In the sense, and even Shashir even asked, can I extrapolate on that a little bit more? Shashir said, I want to set up a search whereby I search for in the money cover calls that have an upcoming dividend. Time value is 1% on a monthly basis. And he adds, stocks that meet that criteria and the stock has fallen today. Very, very simple. We'll clear filters as we did before. We're just going to go to static September expiration, close to that month return, right? And I'm going to put in a percent time value of 1%. And we're going to go into the fundamentals. We're going to put in Shashir simply percent dividend yield of greater than 1%. You might want higher. You might want 2%. You might want 3%. You might want more. Now, let's go back to the technicals. And here, I'm sorry, I was in the right place to begin with. Shashir, in the fundamentals, I want the X dividend date to be between now and expiration, not the dividend payment necessarily. The X dividend date where I have to be on record of holding the stock to receive the dividends, we're going to click that to be between now and expiration because we're just looking at static September expiration. 1% time value on the position. Keep doing the wrong place. 1% dividend. X dividend date between now and expiration. And stock change today. Less than zero. So you could do it by percentage stock change today or stock change today. Okay, so now it's more than 600. That was different than what we were seeing before, wasn't it? We were seeing none and now it's saying it's greater than 600. What am I missing? Okay, let's, let's put this. We want a stock change today of less than minus three dollars minus two dollars something along those lines let's narrow that down there we go okay so i didn't use the one result per security at first but here are some others and what you would want to see on this so what did we do again now that i got it right one month out september time value greater than one percent for that 30 days and let's check back in with the earnings date between now and expiration okay i narrowed it down to 20. Dividend greater than one, and the stock had to have fallen $3 today. So clear the filters, expiration date, time value requirement. Stock change today, less than minus $2, less than minus $3, whatever your control is. Dividend of at least 1%. X dividend date between now and expiration. And we don't need anything in the technicals or anything else. And you've got your list of 20 stocks, all very high priced. On the first page, let's go to page two. They have all very high price. So if I limited the stock price, why well, I wanted to show that is if I limited the stock price to be less than $50, less than $100, less than $150 this year, we wouldn't see any results on this particular screen. And of course, just like we saw a moment ago when we had to do it for Octavio's question, basic criteria. When you have a search like that, which is a few basic requirements this year, clear filters, step number one. Set your expiration date, set the three or four things you want immediately. Time value, stock that declined, want to look for something that pays at least a zero or 1% dividend, and you want the X dividend date between now and expiration. Then you run your search. You get too many results, you could add in another filter for you know option volume today greater than zero, option bid price greater than zero. I want to be slightly in the money, I want to be slightly at the money. Then do the next three or four that are on your list. Very simple, easy enough to do, and you get a nice narrow list. But again, as I mentioned, excuse me, they're all high price stocks, and that's probably because the need for the 1% time value. Whereas a stock like maybe such as Kraft Heinz or something along those lines, a lower price stock, or I'm sorry, Mondelez, I should say. I always say Kraft Heinz, I should say Mondelez in this case. No, I'm sorry, a $30, $30 stock and so forth 
would probably be lower in that case. And you, you gave me a couple of, well, I can tell you right now, did they fall by $3? He says, um, it's strange that didn't pick up GS as it has an upcoming dividend and KO. Well, remember, I put in that it had to also fall $3. So let's take a look here. Fell two fifty nine today. Not three dollars. Sites are not broken, Shashir. It just has to be very specific. Remember, you're talking with a computer in this case. If you say, "Hey, it had to have dropped three dollars," like I did, and I know that was not your requirement. Well, it didn't drop by three dollars. It only dropped by two fifty nine. Ko, likely the same thing. Oh, let's do it here. It be correct. I was up thirty four cents. Not down today, so that didn't match your other criteria, so that's why it wasn't picked up. KO and GS have options that would give a 1% time premium with the dividends coming up. KO, for example, um, dividend, I apologize, 914 before that expiration date? Absolutely. But it moved up today. It was up today. Didn't match your next requirement that you gave me here in the question pod. GS, I had put in $3. For the decline on the stock fundamentals, let's put in minus two. Change that up. There's GS right there because it fell 259, not the three dollars that I initially put in. So anytime you see something like that, and hopefully new trial members that are testing out the site see this, if you put in something and you say, Oh, well, I have 25 results, but my stock's not there, then there you go. That would be it. The system works. The data works. It's not a broken site. We've been in business since 1997. <laughs> okay. Yes, glitches do happen. Mathematical glitches do happen. Sometimes data doesn't get updated. But a lot of times I do get it's like, oh, well, I tried to use your tool, but I put in these requirements. And I know for a fact that stock X, stock Z, stock ABC, and stock one, two, three match my criteria. And then all you have to do is go to that stock details page, just put in your stock symbol here and go to the quotes. And if you had a requirement for volatility, a certain volatility level, 50 day or 20 day, a uh, certain percentage of the one year range for the stock had to be above 50%, down a certain amount, for example, days above the MACD, you know, whatever. You can just see right here that, oh, well, everything matched my criteria except for this one. That's why it's not in the results. You put in that criteria, it's not there. Yes, Shashir, you absolutely can. We did show you could do that. Um, it was right there. So as I said, you could do by stock change today or by percentage. You could just change it to minus 1%, minus 0.5, whatever you wanted, and it would show the same thing. So you can do the stock change negative that you want by price or by percentage. Simple as that. All right. So clear the filters. Set your desired expiration time frame, time value you wanted. You know, look for some dividend not between now and expiration, whatever you want to use for percentage stock change or stock change today. And um, that's it. If you don't see something that's there, it's because it didn't match one of the criteria that you were looking for. And you can just you look at the first thing to do is look at the stock. If you're using stock criteria, is use that quotes page, as I mentioned. Hey, I need it to be X, Y, Z. Oh, yeah. Clear as day. It's not down. So that's why that one didn't come up. It wasn't down enough. That's why the other one didn't come up. Um, it doesn't pay a 1% dividend. It only pays a 0.9% uh, dividend. Well, there's that other one, okay? And then you'll see the ex-dividend date there as well, so you can use that. And, oh, of course, one thing I mentioned just as we did before, Shashir, click change the columns, add the percent ex, uh, add the percent dividend and ex-dividend date if you're screening by dividend, and that's your important one. So just change the columns to do that so you have it here so you don't have to go hunting for it and further on. But while I'm waiting to see if there are any last minute questions coming in, I just want to remind everyone that today's material are my thoughts on your questions designed for educational purposes, increasing investing performance and options knowledge. Any stocks or options discussed today should not be taken as direct recommendations or direct trading suggestions. Options do involve risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Well, today we had a chance to look at the search tool in depth, how easy it was to create a specific search with three or four criteria that appeal directly to what you want in the case of Shashir but also how to set up a search in a given strategy one stock at a time to try and find which position best has the return, annualized return. You can use it both ways. Scan the universe of options to find the positions that match your requirements in a given strategy, 
use our defaults to get started, or look one stock at a time for specific criteria so you can compare positions against that stock to see which one best suits your goals for that strategy. Looked at the rollout opportunities in the portfolio tools, what if scenarios on the profit and loss chart, and some of those other calculator tools to determine time decay and more. Well, if you like those tools you saw today, you can take advantage of them at any time for free. Just go to powerop.com, put in your name and email address. No credit card required. You have full access to the site for 14 days. After that, the subscription started just $45 per month. That is for the end of day data service where the data is updated only at the close of business around 4.15, 4.20 p.m. Eastern time. The delayed service is only a 12 or 15 minute delayed data. Um, so when you're running a search, you can refresh the page every 12, 13 minutes or so and see the new prices that match your criteria. We do, of course, offer a real time service and the historical service gives you access to the historical tools with the delayed quote service for only $35 more, and that's about six and a half, seven years of data that you can run in the various historical searches, historical search by symbol, and of course the historical chain as well. You can cancel your subscription at any time. There's no contractual obligation. Free coaching is available on all levels of subscription. A coaching session is a 35 to 45 minute phone conversation with myself or Ernie, kind of like what we do here today. Just a one-on-one -on -one phone conversation will answer any questions that you have about using the tools on the site strategies, management techniques, rollouts, and much more. Can't give any direct trading advice, as I always say during these presentations, but we can walk you through the concepts and ideas, risk and rewards of the various strategies. Act as a second pair of eyes to discuss thoughts and concerns on your positions, strategies you're planning, or strategies you're looking to do. Of course, you can upgrade at any time as well. Now, as I mentioned, today's presentation was recorded. The full unedited <laughs> presentation with that foible in the middle that we had uh, for uh, Shashir about not getting too many results with the dividend one and then not enough results with the dividend one before we finally correct it. Well, that would be available to Power Options full subscribers um, in the requested topics section um, at about 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. But tomorrow at some point, I'll start cutting the various segments of the position, the conversations we had with Octavio, Shashir cleaned up a little bit, uh, Forrest and Faoud, and we'll have those posted on the YouTube channel or on the Power Options webinar archive sometime later tomorrow. I'm not going to promise by 12 noon, but sometime uh, early or mid-afternoon on Saturday or on Sunday, or a couple will be posted tomorrow, and then the two others will be posted on Sunday as well. And we'll send you an email, of course, when those are available. If you think of any questions later on, send us an email to support at powerop.com or support at radioactivetrading.com. Remember, you can all call us during market hours at 302-992-7971. And of course, remember, trial members and subscribers, you can schedule that free coaching session at any time.